Hello and welcome to the Lyman Wolf Podcast. Happy New Year, everybody. And I'm your host, your host Raceland, and I'm joined today by my co-host, Nate. How are you doing, bud? Uh, Pretty good. How about yourself? Uh, I'm thinking uh, it's going to be an anime kind of day, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because today's podcast, we're talking about our favorite animes. Nate, this was your pick. Why did you want to pick up a talk about animes? Uh, mainly because we have already gone through our favorite like game or favorite uh, comics and whatnot. I think we went through our games too. I'm not sure. I think we mentioned them. We've mentioned video games before. Yeah, I don't think we've done a list yet, but that'll be in the future probably. <laughs> uh, so I'm just kind of going down topics. And that, we both love, yeah, we both love anime. Everybody, well, not everybody. A lot of people like anime. So yeah, that's a good <laughs> good topic. Yeah, I was gonna say everybody, but that's just not true. <laughs> Yeah, if only. Yeah, the world would just, the weebs would just take over, right, Nate? Mm. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I right, don't so know let, about that. Let's just go ahead and jump into our list. Uh, we're going to do top five, right? Yes, top five, and we will be going back and forth. Yeah, that's good, that's good. So this is your pick for this week, so we're going to go ahead and start with you. What is your number five favorite anime? Uh, So my... Number five came out in 2016. It has 37 episodes, and it is called Mob Psycho 100. That is a great pick, and I also did not realize you were going to be talking about, like, episode length and years. I didn't do any of that. It's just those two things. Uh, okay. Just to kind of give people a sense of, if they're interested, what they would be dealing with. It's not like a One Piece situation where you have hundreds of episodes to go into. Uh, we're talking thousands now, just to let you know. Oh, is it in the thousands? It's in the thousands. Dang. Well, but I yeah, the manga was in the thousands. I didn't realize that. Mob Psycho is an anime, anime I have seen as well. I haven't seen the newest season, though. Uh, the, I think it's. I think season three just came out. Yeah, it came out. I believe last year or this no, year. No, I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure 2022, year. like in yeah. the summer. I'm already in the mindset of 2023. Oh, um, well, this will be. This podcast will be coming out on New Year's Eve, so or New yeah, Year's so, Day, maybe one of those. <laughs> so possibly next year. Anyway, great anime. Highly recommend it for anybody. Oh, also, uh, uh, we're gonna do our best. To be spoiler free for anybody who wants to watch these animes. Yes, and if there are going to be spoilers, we will mention spoilers beforehand. Yeah, I just I want people to actually watch these animes if they're interested yes. in them. So let's not be like, oh, the main plot of this and the villain and the ending. Well, I will be giving the plot, but well, the that's plot the is diff- usually in the IMDb section. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it's not going to be so- like Mob Psycho 100 ended with these guys dying. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> so. Basically, Mob Psycho 100 is about a kid who has psychic abilities that are insanely strong. To the point uh, of, like, broken strong. Yeah, he's almost, like, a gag character strength-wise, where he's just so overpowered. So, for all the casual anime fans out there, if you're listening, think of him as, like, the psychic version of Goku. Wouldn't yeah. You? I, I, or, I'd say that. Or, like, Superman. Just other characters that are just extremely overpowered. And broken and unbeatable. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So we have Mob, who is the main character. That's why it's called Mob Psycho 100. Which is, like, a terrible name, by the way. His name is Mob. Yeah, he's just a... I mean, looks-wise, they make him... Like, he's supposed to look like... An NPC character. He's yeah, he looks like he's like he be... he looks like just a little normal Japanese kid with like a bowl cut, and that's yeah, it. He's just, he's just one of the mob. Like uh, he's, he's just not a normal looking guy, looking like a main character, which is kind of the play on him. He is a very he's just a good character in my opinion. He yeah. has good character development throughout the series, definitely. Uh, and the reason it's called Mob Psycho One Hundred is his name. He's psychic, and whenever he, like, he has, like, there's a meter throughout the series that goes from 0% to 100%. So, that is kind of his thing. Anybody who's interested in psychic abilities and whatnot, I highly recommend this one. Anybody interested in comedy, definitely. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a comedy anime, for sure. It's a comedy Uh, action. Yeah, and it has extremely sick fight scenes as well 
Nate, so. you're the one who recommended this to me years back, and I got mm-hmm. into it because growing up, I always loved the idea of having psychic powers. I loved it. Like, being able to move yeah. stuff with your mind was, like, one of my dreams as a kid. And you're like, oh, mm-hmm. this anime is that, but OP as hell, and it's hilarious. And I was like, oh, it checks every freaking box on my checklist. Exactly. This, it is a hard uh, one to not like. I don't really, I like, I don't see very many people dislike this. So, yeah, there's nothing really negative about five. it. That's my five. Oh, that's a great pick. Good start. All right. I think you're going to I think you're going to agree with my number 5. Uh, okay. this is an anime that is old. I think I want to say you know the answer. I think it came out in the 90s. It's Yu Yu Hakusho. I believe yeah, either early 90s or late 80s. 80s really is that old possibly i don't uh, think so let's see here oh well, anyways talk about it. i'll look it up anyways my very first time ever watching yu yu haka show was actually this year in 2022 uh so it came in in 1992 so early 90s wow it is a lot older than that but man <laughs> i am like two decades late to this anime and it uh is a great one it is awesome I highly recommend this anime for anybody who likes the 90s style anime or just anime in general like but this is very 90s keep in mind when you're <laughs> when you're uh, watching this uh it's about this kid his name is um is it I think I f- Yusuke Yusuke yeah it's, I, I almost got it mixed up but yes it's Yusuke Yurameshi yeah and uh he, he's a spirit detective he goes around like hunting like basically spirits and stuff Mm-hmm. And he uh, he gets caught up with a bunch of like really messed up like spirit crap that goes Typical vi- anime yeah very very it goes south very quickly and one of the things I loved about this anime so much is all the character bro- uh, characters were like really reliable and likable like you really lo- really liked these characters they they made their in my opinion, this is from what my experience. They made the characters stand out, and they were like really, really good, like built characters. Yeah, it's true. The this is one of the animes that takes almost all of the side characters presented and gives them well developed character arcs, good storylines. Uh, it definitely doesn't really leave very many characters behind it yeah build all of them together yeah the main core group is like five characters i think and yeah yeah i'm pretty sure it's five and Mm -hmm. they they flush out the backstories and develop them so well like the characters are just so is what the selling point is of this anime to honestly if you like character development you will like this anime yeah makes it it really uh... cool action fighting scenes and also just really good story. Like, oh, the story is great. It goes into it just a yeah, it's just a really good story. It goes into a lot of detail for even like villains and stuff. Yeah, like, like some you, of the villains you're like, you're so evil, but I get why you're doing it, man. Yeah, like <laughs> like at first you start to hate them and then you're like, oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, like <laughs> understandable. Still not a fan, but yeah, dang. like like, kind of I fan. still want you to lose, <laughs> but, like, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it, it is a very good story-based anime. With and action. then the final thing I have to say about this anime is that this is probably one of the, if not the, best anime intro of all time. It's probably my favorite anime intro. It is. Okay. The, I know you normally skip intros, which so, get them, get them comics, get uh, comments, get them, get them. I I watched like the intro for the first episode, and then I watched the outro for the first episode. But they uh, animes change. They change outros and intros throughout the series. They do, they do. And if I notice that something is different, I'll watch the new one. Uh, but for the most part, I just, after I've watched it, I skip it so I can get on to the next episode. Well, see, I was watching this anime um, on my on my lunch break at work every day. I did that mm. for an entire year. And so I didn't really have time to skip intro, so I just kind of let it play. And then, like, I just fell in love with the intro of this, this anime. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> now, from what I googled for this anime... 
I was looking at the people also ask questions. And it's like, can an 11 year old watch Yu Yu Hakusho? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yeah, you. That's the good thing about this anime, though, is like, it's pretty much one of like the starter animes in the 90s. Like, didn't yeah. it? Wasn't this on like Toonami and stuff like that? Yes, it was on Toonami. Uh, but Toonami also had quite a few other adult oriented animes. Yeah, but Yu Yu Hakusho is not, I wasn't kid friendly, but it's like, Teen no, friendly, it, honestly, with the stuff that is on today, yeah, this is perfectly acceptable for the most part. I'd say this if, if parents out there, if you're interested in getting your kids into anime, this is a good intro anime. Uh, that or an honorable mention, Shaman King is also a really good intro for kids. I don't know what that is, but I, I will take your word on it, yeah. But yeah, that is uh, my number five is Yu Yu Hakusho. And it has 112 episodes. It's a pretty long anime. Not really, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Not compared to some others. Well, yeah, it, it's a great anime, and I highly recommend it. Awesome. Uh, so my fourth pick is called Bacano. You've mentioned that before. I've, I've heard you talk about like the title before. Yes. A friend of ours, actually, um, Brandon, from our old job. Okay. He's the one who got me... To watch it he recommended it very highly i was kind of uh hesitant simply because it's not very long it's only like 16 episodes oh yikers um, and that's a very I was short afraid, anime yeah i was afraid that it wouldn't be able to really tell a good story i was wrong um, wow really this is like out of my top 10 this is my number four so this that's, is a that's pretty, very good pretty anime. good yeah pretty good Good storytelling, good characters, uh, like the character development, not very much because it's all like taking place within a certain number of days. It's not a very prolonged anime in the story wise, uh, but the characters they introduce and show really awesome and great fight scenes. So uh, would you say this is an, a an action anime? Yes, this is like a action mystery thriller kind of thing set in like the 20s what is this like adult scooby-doo no it like it's not an actual like mystery the mystery mainly comes from like who is orchestrating everything like uh, it's for the so audience it's, you're trying to figure out like a whodunit kind of situation sort of uh and then you've got just like the action is superb it is one of the best that I've seen, uh, and a very interesting kind of like supernatural in the background kind of thing. When you uh, say supernatural, you mean like the actual supernatural or the TV show supernatural? Actual supernatural. Like there's a mystical quality to it in oh, the okay. background that you normally wouldn't associate with what's going on in this time period because it's basically like prohibition era you said it's like uh, set in the 20s right 1920s yeah, like, yeah uh like mob bosses and all this stuff is Weird. they're the characters um i didn't expect is, you to be into that type of stuff i usually am not uh like i i like the style of it and all but not that big of a fan of mafia kind of yeah thing. i've never seen you into like mafia movies or anything like that ever but this one it's more like the individual characters that they per uh, portray are just that well written plus that it has like the most adorable couple in any anime i've ever seen i i want the best for this couple and I think they get that. Like, I, I in my head canon, they have to have a happy ending at some point. So, highly recommend it. It came out in two thousand seven. Question, really fast. You said it's only sixteen episodes. Is it finished? Yes, it is done. The so like, done. there's no, like, there's the no cliffhangers or nope, nothing like that. Everything okay. is wrapped up in a nice little bow. Uh, and it's just, it's a good story. It. That's good to hear, because I've had animes where it's like, there's only 16 episodes, and I'm like, holy crap, this is such a great anime. Oh, it got canceled, by the way. Like, oh, yeah, that, oh no. <laughs> so that's actually one of the reasons why an honorable mention I have isn't on my list, because it got canceled, and 
it like because it got canceled, they didn't get to the good parts from the manga. We'll get to that. Yeah. Uh, so that was my fourth. Okay. What is your fourth? My fourth is all right. So let me let me get let me get into this really fast. I was hesitant to put this on my list because I'm currently watching this anime. This anime, though, it has 154 episodes, and I'm on episode 123. So I don't uh, know the ending. Okay, I didn't read the manga or nothing, but I'm loving the anime so much, and that is Black Clover. Okay. I Okay, I, I watched this a while back. I tried to get into it because you recommended it to me a while back. Yes. And I was currently watching another anime, which is my number one anime, and... Oh. um. To be clear, I recommended the manga because I have never seen the anime. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I you recommended it to me, and I started trying to watch it, but I was currently watching a different anime at the same time. So I lost interest in this anime. Now, I went back in 2022, and I restarted it because I didn't get that far in. And I am now absolutely all in. This is a great anime. And I'm very excited to see how it ends because, like I said, I'm only going to like 30 episodes left. Yeah, I um, if you don't, if you guys don't know what this is, it's set in like a fantasy style world where everybody uses like grimoires and they have magic and all they have like elemental magic. It's set in four different kingdoms. There's got the Clover Kingdom, spades, hearts, diamonds. It's all set up for cards and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those who don't know, grimoires are books, magical oh, tomes. Oh yes, yes. They're it's in what they call grimoires are what they call like their magical spell books and stuff. Yeah. And each every wizard has like their own elemental style weapons or uh, like like Magic. attribute. Attrib at yeah. What? Attribute. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I meant. Uh <laughs> <laughs> So like you got fire wizards, water wizards, ice wizards, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the main protagonist, without getting into too much spoilers, is like, he doesn't have magic. So it's like watching this guy struggle to be a wizard with no magic. It's, yeah, he's such a good character. I know you don't ca think he's a great character. No, I, I think, think he, he is a great character. I just don't think he has very great character development throughout his series. See, and I don't care about that with this, with this specific anime. I don't care about that because everything else around the the main character, all the side characters, the story, the setting is all flushed out so well that it the the, the main character is kind of like there. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Which it's true. Uh, everything else about this is a very good, well, from manga standpoint, very good uh, character development for the main character. Doesn't seem all that prevalent, but it's also not very necessary because he is like, I mean, he's already a pretty decent developed character that they portray. Yeah, like they explain basically how who he is and what his character is about within the first like four episodes. Yes, um, and he like, a matter of fact, we were talking about this earlier at a to uh, privately. He is a character that is like the Ma Frankenstein's monster of several shonen type <laughs> characters. He's the ultimate shonen protagonist. <laughs> uh, because he's all about that friendship. He's all about fighting stronger opponents. Never giving up. He, yep, he's all about that. He is all about just making himself stronger, but also keeping to a very strict moral code that he himself has set uh so yeah he is this i would say this generation's ultimate shonen character now i have a question for you because i know this is both animes that we've both watched none this one's not on my list i don't know if it's on your list but okay. would you say that this is a better version of the anime fairy tale no okay See for me it would because I didn't, I didn't finish Fairy Tale because I got bored of it. This is a much better um, anime in my opinion. So the, they are, they're very similar. I would say they are, in terms of enjoyment for me, equal. Uh, really? But they both do things differently. Yeah, they're uh, both magical based 
animes and mangas, but they go about it doing it differently. Yeah. Uh, and they both do it very well as also. Yeah, uh, for all you all you fairy tale fans out there, don't worry. It's not like we don't hate the anime. <laughs> well, I've I've never watched all of the anime for fairy tale. Either. I got about I've read I got about halfway manga. through. I got about halfway through fairy tale. Yeah, I read all of the manga of fairy tale and I loved it. I love uh, the creator that created fairy tale. I love his works, even though they are very copy and paste because he does use a lot of the character designs from each series he does and even same names and practically the same characters even yeah. toys with the crossovers and stuff fairy tale does things better than black clover on some things you gotta black admit clover, though black clover does a better job with the side characters for sure Yes, but that's also because the side characters are more prevalent and have a more important aspect to the story. Agreed. Um, but Fairy Tale also goes into better background for their side characters. Oh, I was just even curious. Even villains. Um, I just knew it was two animes that we both like, or mangas in this case. But yeah. yeah. But yeah, that yeah, is my number. Equal. Yeah, that's my number four is, uh, is Black Clover. It's okay. a great anime with great fight scenes, great story, great uh, fantasy background. It's overall awesome anime. Mm -hmm. uh, so my third is an anime that came out in 1998 with only 26 episodes. Going old school again. Yes. Uh, Trigun. Okay. Trigun will always be very dear to me. Uh, it is not the first anime that I watched, but it is one of the first animes that I watched, uh, and kind of set the precedent for my taste in anime protagonists, because Vash Stampede is a very goofy character with an extremely tragic backstory, uh, but- Everybody loves a tragic backstory, right? Sadly, we do. Yes, <laughs> uh, we love you, characters. But why do you? Why must you have a tragic backstory for us to be interested in? Uh, and Vash Stampede is also kind of overpowered in his world because he's a. It's set in like a Mad Max set kind of world uh, on another planet, and he's a gunman. He's a he's the most wanted outlaw on their planet. So everybody's out to kill him, but no one believes he's Vash the Stampede because of how goofy he is. <laughs> uh, he's like he is clumsy as hell. He's acts idiotic. He's extremely naive. And you said this is a mech anime? No, this is a Kind of like a futuristic Wild West kind of anime. Oh, okay. Uh, everybody in there are is a gunman of some sort. Oh, uh, when you say gunman, I was thinking like gun, like like or anime. Gundam. Yeah, that's yeah. what in my head I was like. Oh, so it's a mech anime. No, uh, gunman, like shooting. Shooters. Yeah, yeah. Text him, hold him. Uh, yeah, got yeah, got you. And he is he almost never misses. Like he is he wields a bullet as if he is painting a brush. But he does it in ways that look accidental. Uh, so he'll do stupid stuff and pull off amazing things. Kind of like a Jack Sparrow in the pirate stuff. Like, nothing looks like it makes sense, but he makes it make sense. Um, and it has a great storyline. Good, like, there's not too many side characters pertaining to his like group i think there's like two people that follow him around um eventually he teams up with another i think which love that character by the way won't say <laughs> his name but i <laughs> love that character is, don't get into spoilers though <laughs> yeah he, that character is an extremely close second to me my love of vash uh ash from pokemon yeah, yeah, Ash from Pokemon. <laughs> Bash the Stampede Raceland. Oh, I thought you meant a good Ash, sorry. Oh, uh, Vash with a V. <laughs> uh, no, Vash and that other character are almost 
like neck and neck on how much I love them in character wise. Uh, yeah, that is like if you love Wild West kind of stuff, if you love goofiness again, comedy, action, uh, tragedy, highly recommend Trigun. Only What's 26 that, uh, episodes. Oh, you know, I'm surprised you since you like this, you'd probably be into that anime Cowboy Bebop. I did like Cowboy Bebop. Because isn't that along the same style as like it's a futuristic cowboy style setting? Yeah, it's a few it's more futuristic than cowboy. Uh like it does they both have the same kind of genre of sci or sci fi Wild West kind of vibes, but Cowboy Bebop is more set in like spaceships and stuff. They yeah, that's why I didn't get into Cowboy. I tried, and I got like four episodes, and I turned it off. I wasn't enjoying it, it. It's also a lot more serious throughout its running, while Trigun gets more serious in the later part of it. I know Trigun has been on my watch later list for like three years now. I highly recommend it's only 26 episodes. I know. Uh, I keep like, every time I open my watch later, it's like, all right, trying to find a new animated watch, something on my list has been on a few years, and I'm like... Or I could start that one that looks interesting. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah. it's yeah. be buried in the back burner forever. I mean, I can understand that. I have several on my own watch list. My watch list I is probably full of like like 30 up animes. <laughs> yeah, I I have a lot. Yeah. Uh, so that is my third, though. And okay. fitting because of Trigun 3. Ha 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 ha, Nate. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> God damn it. All right, <laughs> my number three is an anime that will never be on your top ten ever, because okay. I know you're not the biggest fan of it. Okay, it's probably the most recognizable anime of all time. Okay, and that is the Dragon Ball Universe. Okay, yeah, it's not in my top ten. But... <laughs> it's not even in your top twenty, probably. I can no, it's not. I can appreciate <laughs> though. Like it, I used to really enjoy it. Now. I only said Dragon Ball Universe because me and you go back and forth saying Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. I know they're the same story, but I consider them separate because they're different. They're different animes, man. They are basically chapters in the book of Dragon Ball. I'm sorry. Are they classified in different sections on every streaming service? Yes, they're different animes. No, honestly. No, uh, they are. Back when I watched Dragon Ball, it was on VHS, so I don't know. <laughs> yes, if you go to Crunchyroll or Hulu or wherever you watch your your Dragon Ball stuff, you have, if you type in Dragon Ball, it'll pop up Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball GT. Like it's all that's, separate. That's great. Uh, they're all except GT, a linear storyline. And I even have on my notes here that GT wasn't bad either. It's just separate on my list on this case, even though it should all be separate, uh, because it's made by different creators and it became retconned. Yes. Uh, so tell even, us about this anime race instead of us getting into <laughs> this. Everybody knows what Dragon Ball is, okay? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like, but, like it is if you're listening to this anime, most... if you're listening to the anime podcast, you know what Dragon Ball is. Well, we're not just an anime. Podcast. I know, I know. I'm just saying. Uh, but yes, Dragon Ball is probably the most recognized. All right, anime I'll give you a short description about it. I'll give you a short description. Goku want to get strong. That's it. Yep. <laughs> uh, no, it's is... it's a it's the story of it's the classic. Uh, what's it called? The 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 journey to the Sun west. Wukong. Yeah. yeah, journey to the west story about alien. It's basically Superman. It's aliens coming to Earth. Sword on accident it turns into like, oh, he wants to save the world instead of destroy it, and he has to protect it from bunches of invasions. So, it wasn't on accident that he did go. I Earth. know, but I was just trying not to get into spoilers, Nate. Well, like that again, everybody knows what <laughs> Dragon Ball is, and it's a lot of ah! <laughs> plus, that's like the first episode. I like, know, in the narration aspect. <laughs> But yeah, I, I love all the characters. It's what I grew up on. It's what This is actually... Actually, I started with Dragon Ball Z. Because mm -hmm. it was on TV. And mm -hmm. it's actually what got me introduced to anime. Which I'm sure is a 
case for a lot of millennials. Yeah, I'm I'm sure it's a case for a lot of people. Yeah, especially millennials. Though. Like Dragon Ball came out in the 80s, and Dragon Ball Z was in the 90s when I was a kid, and then Super's recent. So the new generation is watching Supers. But yeah. yeah, Dragon Ball Z was where it all where I began, and then I ended up going back and re and watching Dragon Ball. And honestly, out of all four series, I think the original Dragon Ball is my favorite. When Goku's a little kid, it's a lot more like the humor is a lot more like raunchy, more dark. Uh, it's 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 just funny, and it's like such it's more of comedy than anything. Yeah. And that's what I love about it. And then Dragon Ball Z was like, no, we need to get serious for all the teens out there now. <laughs> it tried to mature Which, along hey, with its audience. It did a good job. Yeah. How many hairstyles does Goku have now? How many colors? <laughs> yeah, colors, hairstyle. I See, think styles the same. The same. Yeah. Uh, I will make a comment about GT. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it got retconned and it wasn't that bad of a series, even though people like to crap all over it. But... Dragon Ball GT introduced me to my very favorite Dragon Ball character of all time. Oh, yeah? And that is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. If you know who that is, heck yeah. But yeah, that's yeah. my favorite Dragon Ball character of all time. Uh, but yeah, that is my number three. It's just the most basic of basic animes out the of there. The most well-known anime <laughs> In existence, like, uh, like if you go to a casual, like, non anime watcher and you say, What's an anime character you know? and he's like, The, the guy from that dragon one, the the, the spiky yellow haired guy, yeah, Goku, or spiky black haired guy, people know him for Super Saiyan, that's what everybody that's knows. That's true, him for. like, uh, Super Saiyan is the face of Dragon but Ball icon now, icon wise, yeah, he, it's he's usually black haired, anyway. He like, you could just show a picture of in the art style of Dragon Ball, and people will be like, oh, yeah, no, that's Dragon Ball. Like, yeah, I, I, we know who that is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, that is... What? The, that fact, is number, in, the fact is number that, three? No, that came out in 86. Oh, yeah, Dragon Ball's old as hell, dude. Yeah, it is a very... The Red Ribbon movie. Army! <laughs> the grandfather of anime. Dude, I'm or, telling you, man. The that... grandfather of shonen, I would say. Yeah, and... You can't lie that Dragon Ball is the face of Shonen. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent the face of Shonen. I would say Naruto is pretty close up there too. But like, well, the on. three, the big three are that are after Dragon Ball. Like they they are the face of Shonen for a generation. Even now, like because Super revamped everything about Dragon Ball, yeah. it's still the face of Shonen. But yeah, that's my number three. What What's your number two, Nate? Uh, so my number two came out in 2006, and it has 29 episodes. Okay. Called Black Lagoon. Oh, oh this one. Black Lagoon. I tried is... watching this one, Nate. Did you? You recommended it to me. And I know I, got, I recommended it to you. I started it. I got about four or five episodes in, and I was like, nah. You only needed 25 more episodes to go through, bro. You're, yeah, you're good. Yeah, I had other animes to watch, Nate. Uh, so this one is a seedier, darker tale uh, about a just a plain office worker guy that gets kind of sucked into the world of, like, under criminal organizations. And I stuff. don't know why, but it kind of makes me think of the intro to The Matrix. Like, he's just this office guy... He gets kind of sucked into, like, the club scene. Ends up being a lot more deeper than what's in yeah. the anime. But, like, still, like, the intro reminds me a lot of the same intro in, in Black Lagoon. It's a great way to... Or it's a great anime that um, definitely goes into you should never judge a book by its cover. Because the main character, Rock, is... Well, Rock and... Uh, Roll. Roxy. Huh? This is never, rock and roll. Never, never roll. <laughs> uh, they, one's a mercenary who kind of adopts him, and the other one is just a simple office worker that like is fed up with his mundane life and his boss basically selling him out. So he's like, "We're going into the criminal underworld. Woo! This is not what I expected at all. Holy crap! I need to. I'm like freaking out all the time, but also trying to get <laughs> calm." Uh, and 
it's actually one of the best character developments because you see him going from this meek, mild-mannered guy to a guy who will stand up to heads of mafia to do whatever he thinks is right. And he sees all this corruption going on. He's like, everyone's making excuses for why they do all this stuff. And he's like, um, no. (laughs) So, yeah, like, he's just a great character. He kind of interjects a bit of innocence into the darker aspects of society. I'm kind of surprised this is your number two. Oh, yeah, this this was a great one. And Plus, he says this, Rock, you said this is 80s or 90s? This came out in 2006. Oh, wow. When I watched it, it looked old. <laughs> it, 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 it used older animation styles. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I like it, because I am a massive fan of older animation styles. Makes sense. You should love Dragon Ball then, eh? I mean, <laughs> I do like the art style a bit until... Like, some characters look exactly like their parents. Uh, no, that never happens in Dragon Ball. <laughs> so, what what would your number two be, Raceland? Well, my number two... Let's try to figure out... I'm going to describe this to you, Nate. Let's see if you can figure it out. <laughs> okay. The longest-running anime of all time. <laughs> okay. Uh, it would be One Piece. Oh, okay. We're searching for the One Piece. One Piece is, like I said, the longest running anime of all time. I didn't look it up, but I know there is over a thousand episodes now. It is, oh my god, it is so long. (laughs) I remember I got into this late to the game. I got into this anime like 2010. So I was already like 400 episodes behind at that point. So I I remember binging. Like, 400 episodes in, like, two months. (laughs) It was ridiculous, dude. I'd stay up, like, till, like, 2 a.m. when I used to live at my mom's house. When I was uh, in my early 20s, I'd just stay up to, like, binging nonstop anime episodes just, like, constantly until I finally got caught up, and then I've been continuing ever since. But, yeah. Yeah, it has uh, 1,045 episodes. Yeah, I knew it hit the 1,000 mark. I knew it did. That's crazy. This anime came out in 1999. Which I feel makes it, like, I thought, yeah, Pokemon has more episodes. You know, what? another cartoon is on the same wavelength as One Piece is Spongebob. Because that also came out in 1999 and is still making episodes. Yeah, like, there is... Man, it's so many episodes. It is. <laughs> Do you think you can keep up with all the characters throughout the, the franchise? Can you remember uh, all the big characters? No. <laughs> I I read the manga. I watched the anime back when it was on 4Kids, I believe. Yuck. Uh, oh, God. And- I couldn't stand the the 4Kids the dubbed. There's, yeah. a, there's My favorite character in the anime is a guy in all black. He uses only his legs. His name is Sanji. And... His signature look is the black suit, and he smokes a cigarette. And in the four kids version, they made him have a lollipop. Yes. And I was like, no. And I turned it off, and I started switching over to the Japanese. (laughs) So I was introduced to One Piece by four kids. Um, And I watched all the way up until a certain point. It was, I believe, after they introduced Sanji. Because he, in the anime, you know, the four kids dubbed, he had an extremely heavy Brooklyn accent. And so I associated <laughs> that with Sanji. Not at all. <laughs> uh, and then, like, a few episodes later, they changed the voice actors for all of the cast. And I, I did not like it. Like, it, it just threw me for a loop. So... I went to the manga and just started reading it, and I'm still reading it ever since. See, for me, I started out watching the dubbed, not the four kids version, the other version. Okay. And I got about, I'd say, 200 episodes in, and then they ran out of dubbed, because at that point in 2010 or whatever it was, they didn't have it all dubbed. So I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? So I switched over to subbed. 
which is all Japanese voice and with subtitles and English subtitles. And now I can never go. This is the one anime I cannot watch dubbed. I can't. I'm so used to the subbed. I tried going back and I was like horrible. I just, it's horrible. I can't do the English voices at all in this anime. Yeah, I I started watching One Piece back when I was like 14 or 15, I think. That sounds about right. Uh, and it is one of, probably one of the hardest animes to... Dislike. Like, convince other... Well, to dislike, but also to convince other people to give a try. Especially if they've never, like, if well, it's also watched it. It's also in the big three. It's, it's one of the most well-known animes at this point. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's one of the big three. But, I mean, like, trying to get somebody to watch it who hasn't been keeping up with it. The moment they hear how many episodes there are, that's when people start to get turned away from it. Yeah, And I sense. say, don't let that intimidate you. Also... It's all pirate themed. If you love pirates, come on, man. Search for it the is, treasure. Be all is, join our crew. That kind of stuff. And the, the main character, Luffy, is so shown in. Like, like, the power of friendship makes us win. To be fair, almost all shown in characters. I know. Like, all shown in pro tags are pro tags. <laughs> I know. Like, Luffy, like, he adopted the hunger of Goku. And. He has really good, I wasn't character growth, but like power growth. His power grows exponentially throughout the series. He does. Um, and it, it is a very good anime. I highly, I would recommend this. I too. even have in my notes here that they, these, this anime has some of the best characters in all anime, in my opinion. You want to talk about them fleshing out, vi uh, hey, hey, hey. They flesh out villains, they flesh out side characters, they flesh out. All the, like, sub-characters really yeah. well. They do have good character development. I don't know... I don't think I would agree with them having the best characters. There. I would say... I said some of the best. Yeah. Okay. And I also put in here that there hasn't really been an... With all these episodes, there hasn't really been an arc of the anime I haven't enjoyed. Like, some anime... Like, obviously all anime, like, this long, especially stuff like this long, has filler. Mm -hmm. One Piece has yeah. filler. Like, yeah, there is filler. All anime has filler. All of the big three have filler. Yeah. They were notorious for it. But One Piece, for me personally, the filler wasn't a chore to get through like some of the other animes out there. Like, yeah. some of the filler I actually quite enjoyed in One Piece. Yeah. There's one arc I... One filler I'm not a huge fan of, but it's still, like, it makes me chuckle. But, yeah. like, overall, I like, even... Even they have some movies that are not have anything to do with the story, and they're still really good sub stories, just for like standalone movies. Understandable. Yeah. Now, this is a, like Nate said, this is a very very good anime, and do not let the length of the anime turn you away because it's very much a good anime to get into. And I would also encourage, uh, like this is one of the ones that would be perfect for a. Uh, parent and child to get into oh absolutely because like there are darker themes to it but the anime and art style of it definitely kind of fluffs it up for kids to not be too horribly taken back by it and a lot of subjects are touched upon it where it'd be a great way to like talk with your kids about right if they're curious so that is my number two. Nate, did you do your number two yet? I did. Okay. So I don't know about you. I have a couple honorable mentions. Do you have an honorable mention, Nate? Uh, I have three honorable mentions. Okay. For me, my honorable mentions are more like recommendations. Same. So go ahead and go with your honorable mentions really fast. Okay. So the first honorable mention would be Magical Shopping Arcade of Binabashi. That is a very and long title. Yes. It is another very short anime, though. I think it only had, like, either 12 or 15 episodes. I'm not positive. Okay. Uh, it is... I will give you fair warning. There are some... Per there, Not some. There is a lot of perviness to this. That's a lot of anime, though. Yes. There is a grander, like, moral of the story in it, though. Like, it's, the whole thing has meaning 
Uh, the reason why it's an honorable mention is because it is one of the only animes that I know that deals with a multiverse kind of thing where it shows every episode is a different genre of anime. So you'll have one episode that is fantasy, one episode that is sci-fi, one episode that is crime, one episode will be war. Uh, but they all have a moral of the story that does feel good, especially if you stick through it. Get past the perviness. Uh, there's a lot. Um, but it is a fun anime. Hilarious. Action, not that much of it. Like, there is action, but it's not really meant to be action-y. Uh, the second one, I would highly... Or do you want to go with your... Go ahead, you're fine. Uh, the second one I would highly recommend is Restaurant to Another World. Oh, you've mentioned that before to me. Yes, this is perhaps my all-time favorite feel-good, like, relaxation anime. If you want an anime that has, like, there's some action in it, but again, it's like a scene of action. It's not, it's meant for, like, to progress the story of a character they have. You mean nobody's going to be going Super Saiyan and fighting bosses? No, there are no bosses in this. It is literally just an anime about a guy who owns a restaurant that every Friday opens to another world. And people from that world come in and eat food. Like, if you like look, seeing food, if you like describing food, if you like hearing just backstories of characters, it just very relaxing anime. Uh, um, I highly recommend it if you're looking for something to put on in the background. Okay. Or if you just need something to relax to. that's That would be my go-to for that. Uh, and the third one I would recommend is Shaman King. Okay. We uh, mentioned that Shaman, earlier. Yeah. Shaman King is about a boy who can see spirits. Uh, they are called Shaman in his universe. And Shaman make packs with spirits to gain that spirit's abilities. Um, and the whole premise is that there is a tournament where you become the Shaman King. And if you become the Shaman King, you basically become a god. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it, it's a great story. Amazing action. Amazing character development. It is kind of on the long side, but <laughs> nowhere near to the degree of some other... Nowhere anime. near a degree of One Piece. <laughs> no. Uh, and the characters are just really good when you're first introduced to them. Uh, and the main character is one of the most chill characters I've ever seen. Uh, to the point where he's a little too passive. <laughs> but, man, when he gets angry, you're like, oh, that person has fucked up. You do not want to make him angry. No. So, yeah. Th those would be my three honorable mentions and recommendations. Okay. For me, I've got uh, my my first one is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Okay. Now, I never got into the original series. I tried it. I wasn't a fan. Um, there are two separate series. There's Full Metal mm -hmm. Alchemist and then there's Brotherhood. Full Metal Alchemist, they're kind of different. The first, the original series is more of a like dark, it's on tail. Yeah, it's dark, sad, <laughs> depressing. Yes. Style uh, anime. And the then one Brotherhood. I and then Brotherhood, which is the one I'm recommending, is action based. It's a lot more action y, combat, really good story. There's only one negative of the anime. All you uh, Brotherhood fans know exactly what I'm talking about. That one episode that should not, shall not be named. Stop smiling, Nate. Stop it. Uh. No, I don't, say, don't, don't no, say it. Not gonna spoil that. I'm just saying, like you described the other one as being very dark, tragic. Brotherhood is still all that as well. Yeah, it is. There but is there's a lot of tragedy. But they replace all the sadness and eh, long with drawn out episode with like crazy <laughs> action. Yeah, it takes your uh, sadness and pumps it full of adrenaline, so you can't <laughs> yeah, feel basically. it. Too much. <laughs> but yeah, there's only one negative, and it's a uh, an episode that should not have made it to Brotherhood. But yes, that I absolutely love bringing up. <laughs> no, you hate it because all 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 Metal Alchemist Brotherhood fans know exactly what I'm talking about. I never finished Brotherhood hey, though. Hey, 
they're hurting inside. Okay. But I did read the manga, which they're I hurting. Believe Brotherhood was inspired for. Once My you get to that episode, people, manga. if you watch this, once you get to that, don't let that episode take you away from the anime, guys. It's okay. He's <laughs> overplaying it. It no, it is horrible. It is bad. It's so sad. <laughs> it is very sad. It makes you want to die. <laughs> but compared to other animes I have seen, it is. It is no, but I highly, bad. I highly recommend it. It is a fantastic anime, and it is a bunch of action and adventure, and it's so good. Uh, as a person who's not a big fan of the main character of that anime, I also would highly recommend it still because it See? does have very good story. It's got the Nate stamp of approval, and I don't even like the main character very <laughs> much. <laughs> My second recommendation is the only mech anime I'm recommending, and that is the anime Gurren Lagann. Okay. Gurren Lagann I, is my seen... favorite an um, almost my favorite mech anime. Okay. And I think the story was really cool. It was something I'd never seen before because, like I said, I don't watch mech animes that often. Mm -hmm. But I, I was just like, okay, I'll give this one a shot, and it did end up being really awesome. Like, I'm not. I could be wrong. But like I said, I don't watch mech animes. It's pretty unique. The story is unique from what I've seen. And I loved it. I highly recommend it. Yeah, I've, I've never seen it. But everything that I know of it, because people have spoiled quite a few things for me, uh, I would agree. It is a very unique take on the mech anime style. Uh, the story, from what I hear, is phenomenal. Yeah, the story is the absolute selling point of this anime it is a fantastic story and it's gonna and have a lot of like oh shit didn't see that coming kind of things coming into it and if you're a fan of crazy animation oh yeah this has a yes. lot of crazy animation that's one of the things it is well known for is to right. be one of the more crazy animated ones and then my final honorable mention is the anime dr stone Dr. Stone right now only has two seasons. I think they're currently making one. I don't know. It's they kind have of up plenty in of material. The, yeah, they're kind of up in the air right now if they're doing a season three or they're doing like a soft reboot. I don't know. But it's an absolutely awesome anime. The, I love the story of this anime. Basically, without getting into too much spoilers, something happens in the world where everybody gets turned to stone and then like, 500 years pass or something like that and they have to try to rebuild civilization and it's really awesome watching like these characters try to cram in like a hundred plus years of technology into like a few years in it's, a primitive style yeah it's the, the main character is just like super genius who can like invent anything I will say the main character has the patience of that is beyond a god. <laughs> I know. And the hairstyle that is just wacky as hell. So, fun fact. Uh, so, I've not watched the anime. This is another one where I read the manga of Dr. Stone. The reason I got into Dr. Stone, though, is because the art style, the illustrator is Boichi. Boichi is one of my all-time favorite manga artists of all. Like, he is astounding. And he does some of the mangas he has worked on are some of the most like philosophical yet badass looking mangas I've ever read. Yeah, I highly highly recommend this anime. It is like I said, right now if you go to Crunchyroll, there's like two seasons on there. Totally should watch it. It is such a good anime. I think it's it's also on HBO Max, I want to say. So if you guys don't have Crunchyroll, you can watch it there. Yeah, highly recommend. So those are my honorable mentions. Nate, what is your number one anime of all time? Alright, so my number one anime of all time uh, is a little anime, not well known, called Golden Boy. Nobody knows what that is, Nate. <laughs> Nobody. Yeah. Even uh, even your friends don't know what that anime is. Well, my friends do know. Because of you. Is, yeah, but because of me. Um, it is came out in 1995. It is six episodes long. Wow, and totally worth it, guys. It is worth it. It has... Alright, it is another anime that do not be turned away by the amount of perviness behind it. The main character... What are you trying to say, Nate? The, the main <laughs> character... There is a lot of perviness to this anime. But behind Surprising the Surprising why it's your number one. The, 
honestly, the reason it's my number one is because of the main character. Oh, yeah, the main yeah. character is my number one favorite character yeah, of this all is my, anime. My favorite anime character of all time. Take away all the boobs and stuff and everything. You can, because the reason I like him <laughs> is because he is a philosophical like character. He is someone who goes through life. Well, yes, he likes women. He loves <laughs> jiggle physics are amazing in this anime. Not gonna lie. Uh, but the main character is a guy who just wants to be better. Like that that's the entire thing. Is a guy who goes through life trying to seek the answers of life itself. With boobs uh, in his face. No. Like he would like boobs in his face. Not no gonna doubt, lie, Nate, I've never seen this anime. I just assume because of what you've told me. No, I know. I know you haven't. Most of my friends I'm not a good describer of this anime. No, you're not, because people are not... You're not really selling it right now. I know. You're over here but like, I'm also, he's so deep, and philo he's, you know, philosophical, all that stuff, uh, and, and you're over like, boob jiggles are crazy in this anime. <laughs> because, okay, because I don't want to lie about this anime. Like, there is a deep story in the background if you can, if you watch it. Nate, there's also the there's also a story in some porns too, but come on, Nate. But you don't watch it for the story. Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying. So <laughs> some people do, but that's neither here nor there. This is not porn. Uh, I'm just the, like fucking with you, Nate. I know you are, but I will say, I have actually convinced some people to watch this. Okay. And they did enjoy it. Uh, yes, they were like, oh, the, jizzle, they're, the jiggle physics are like, what the heck is this? <laughs> but they did say that there was, like, it was a genuinely funny anime. And that is what it, like, it is a comedy anime. I will recommend to never read the manga, ever. <laughs> Why? Uh, because the first couple of the chapters of the manga is the first episodes of, or are all the episodes of this. I am glad they stopped at episode six, because if they continued, it would not have done well. I would, it would not be my number one, because it does so get this into... Is a, this is a rare instance where the anime is better than the manga. Yes, because that they never happens. where the manga, they stopped where the manga should have stopped. Uh, the manga does, like, it starts out as the anime, but then after the first couple of stories of the anime are done, that's when it goes into a porn. Like, it does lose all story, basically, um, and just takes that amazing character of Kentaro Oi from a philosophical, like, genius of everything he comes into contact with. To his true nature. To, like, I hate to say this. I really do. But he's like the granddaddy of simps. <laughs> like, <laughs> he becomes so much of just a stepping stone to a female character that's not even a lead character that it is humiliating for fans. Uh, I can definitely see why she's number one, Nate. The anime? Amazing. <laughs> manga? Nah, no. nah, you love the manga, dude. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. You don't have to watch the episodes in order. Uh, the only one you'd have to do that is for the last episode because all of the other characters from those episodes. So the last two episodes. No, last episode. Oh, last, okay. The sixth episode. Um, so if you don't watch one. them in order, then you're not going to. It's not going to make sense. No, you can watch episodes one through five in whatever order you want, but you have to watch them before you watch episode six. And how long because, are these episodes? Are they like twenty one minutes or something like that. Yeah, like not very long at all. Like twenty. So you can finish this entire series in like a day. In a Half day, yeah. All of my friends who have made fun of me for watching this, you have no excuse not to watch it. Other than I've got two kids, I have no time. Uh uh, you just had a kid. <laughs> you only had one when I first told you about. It. <laughs> I have no time, Nate. Sorry. <laughs> and you just got done listing all these animes that you watch at work. No, I don't so watch I them at work. I watch them on break. I will not recommend watching this at work, by the way. Do no. not watch this at work. <laughs> not safe for work. Watch. Yeah. Unless you're, like, watching it in your car. Then, yeah. Then you can watch. 
But if you're in the break room, do not watch this. Your bosses <laughs> will not be happy. <laughs> Especially on their Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> uh, so that would be my number one. Six episodes came out in 1995. Great character. Hilarious anime. Very good moral uh, like moral of the story at the end. If you can make okay. it through. So my so number, would be your number one? My number one, One Piece was my number one for a very long time, until it got overthrown. And oh. I, wa- I want to say it was 2012, 2013 when this came out, something like that. The anime that you and me both love, Sword Art Online. Okay. It's another I... very popular anime, but it is a very, very good anime. Did come out in tw- uh, 2012. I thought so, yeah. Uh, everything about this anime, I absolutely love. Um, the one thing that's unique about this anime is every season is like an insanely different story arc. So it's like one season you're at this, and then you're like in a completely different game, and then you're in a completely different game. Because the whole concept of this anime, Nate, you could probably explain it better. It's like. You, you, they get trapped inside a virtual world, like a video game world. And if you die in the video game world, you die in real life kind of thing. So That's season one. Yeah, the story for the first season is, like you said, they put on a, a VR headset that basically traps them in the video game world. Their bodies are still in a uh, real world, so it's not like an easy Kai, Like... A, I had heard that it was being called an izakai. It's not an izakai. People don't know what izakai means. For anime fans. Uh, oh, okay. People who are being transported to another world is gotcha. an izakai. Um, this is not that. Their bodies are still in our world. They're in a hospital. Yeah. It's the Matrix, basically. Yeah. And I will say, season one, hands down the best season, in my opinion, of all anime. Season one... Of Sword Art will never be toppled. I love season one of Sword Art. I love the other seasons, don't get me wrong, but season one, special place in my heart, man. It's such a good anime. Why are you laughing? I just I just remembered over the holidays, uh, I forget which streaming service it was, but it recommended the Christmas episode for Sword Art Online as a holiday watch. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my the Christmas God. episode. If you're wearing a feel-good holiday, do not watch that Christmas no, episode. No, do not. <laughs> the only reason that thing recommended is because of the algorithm, like, oh, Christmas episode, watch it, yeah. Sadness. It, no, <laughs> it is super depressing. But yeah, so without getting into too much spoilers, there's basically four giant arcs, because every season, like I said, is like a different video game virtual reality setting. First season's all like medieval and stuff like that. Greatest story of all time. Um, Second season is all about fairies and magic and stuff. Third season is all about guns. It goes into a world where it's like you have to use guns to survive. Guns and, for copyright purposes, not lightsabers. (laughs) Yeah. And then the (laughs) final one is, how would you describe the, the, the current... Like uh, back to the medieval style. Yeah, but it, it but differently. Oh. Uh, no, I meant like it's set in medieval, but it's not the same. Yeah, it's just a different medieval world. Uh, yeah. With, um, so, like a tower almost. Yeah, sort of. So the main character is Kirito. And all of season one is setting up the, like, a lot of people say is like one of the greatest love stories in all of anime. Because it is, that's what, dude, that's what the nah, internet says, I, man. That is what the what internet say. says. I know what people say, and I, for a K- long time, Kirito I Kirito and Asuna is like, they're like one, they're the perfect pair in people's eyes. Me personally, though, we, I ship him with somebody else that gets introduced later on, who is his true love, Nate. No. It's his true love. Well, I will never let I will never let that go. The one he should have ended up with. Oh, but the creators have already. So. No, no. If Asuna <laughs> was not in the picture, 
this what would have happened. Shut up! No, <laughs> I can dream. Like, I can dream. Right. That's like DC fans saying, if Lois Lane wasn't in the picture, Wonder Woman is his good. Like, no. <laughs> Lois Lane is Superman's girl. Stop trying to push the Wonder Woman angle. <laughs> he deserves to be with this woman. They have a connection, okay? <laughs> a bigger connection. Than him spending years in a coma-like state with a woman he genuinely, like, grew kind of with, learned about, and has intimate knowledge of. Yes. Not just... <laughs> yes. Screw all that. Just forget true love. Should be with this one. <laughs> feel like you're confusing love with lust. Shut <laughs> and up. It's not even lust. <laughs> anyway, so yes. This is my very favorite anime. Highly... Re if you... Hey, if you don't... Want to watch all four, I think there's five now seasons? Mm -hmm. Five, I think. Just watch season one. Season one ends, wraps up perfect with a bow on it. They just add more stuff with season two. Not saying it's like an add-on, but like... If you it just, just continues the Yeah, story. if you just want to watch season one, just do that. I highly recommend it. I think season one's like 24 episodes long. I think each season is like 24 episodes long. Uh, 25, I believe. 25, but still... Highly recommend. It's my all-time favorite anime. Like I said, it even toppled One Piece. I didn't know that was possible, but it did. And man, if he would just be with this other character. So be... I really got... I was really into Sword Art Online for a long time. Oh no, what happened? Uh, no, Nothing really happened. It's more like just my interest kind of fell through after I, I have so many other animes that I'm watching now. Nate, are you trying to tell me that you don't watch Sword Art anymore? I have not watched the last two arcs they've done. Uh, again, not because it's bad or anything, but because I've been busy watching other anime that it's came okay. out. It's okay, you're, you're not a true I anime waited. fan, I get it. No, I'm not a true Sword Art fan. <laughs> uh, you got anything else for anime for this episode? Um, Let's see here. All right, I do have a question for you. Who would you say is your favorite anime character of all time? Yikes. I was not prepared for this. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Surprise man. Surprise round. Uh, I mean, I have so many, like, I really What's love this character from nice this thing. anime. Mm -hmm. I mean, in pure badassness, Kirito from Sword Art is an amazing character. Okay. But then it's like you got, like, Sanji from One Piece. He's also... A super badass character. Like, there's so many True. badass characters I can't pick from. Number one dad, though, is Goku, hands down. Yes, obviously. <laughs> no, no, he's Number the worst dad, dad in anime history. Goes no, to a character sorry. we were not allowed to talk about. Second worst dad in anime. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, who's your favorite character? Is it the Golden Boy guy? It is, Kintaro Oi. Oh, yuck. He is. That was the whole reason I even asked you, by the way, so I can bring back Golden. Oh my god! To be the last anime talked about for this podcast. Uh, so yeah, now that I've mentioned it again, we can go ahead and close out. Oh boy! Uh, well, what did what? we have any uh, comments? So or anything? I I messed up, Nate. I forgot you to post up. that we were talking about anime and all of the socials. I didn't make a post, so we this have is no. Why I should probably use social media, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I've been a little busy, like you mentioned. I have a new baby. Yeah. I've been a little wrapped up. I forgot to post what we were talking about, so no. Understandable. We have no comments because people don't know this episode's dropping. Surprise, everybody! Uh, then I will make a educated guess on one comment. Okay. Uh, for a recommendation, one that I personally. Not a fan of. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I know where this is going. <laughs> I know a friend of mine who does really like it, and I respect that he likes it, and I know people do enjoy this anime. So, Neon, get or I don't even remember what it's called. Oh, this he's is your thing, dude. For this, <laughs> Neon <laughs> Genesis Evangelion. But say so you better get it right, Nate. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't remember the second word. Because I remembered Evangelion, but I was like, Neon... You, no, that's not right. Neon Genesis Evangelion uh, is highly recommended from a By very Ty. good friend of mine. Yeah, one of my best friends. 
Uh, understand, I'm not a big fan of it, <laughs> but also you fucking hate this anime. <laughs> I don't like. No, I will say like the setting of the anime is really good. Um, my the only reason I don't like this anime is I cannot stand the main character. That's it. He is annoying to me to the max, and it takes me away from the anime. I cannot enjoy it simply because of that. So he highly recommends it. So if it's good enough, I would I recommend it simply for the setting, the animation style, and the story. Fair enough. All right. Well, if that is it. Thank you guys for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the podcast. If you're interested in any of the other content, you can check out my link tree, which shows all of our other accounts. And if you like this, please think about liking and subscribing. If you're interested in talking about upcoming topics, please join us on our Discord and Facebook page, which I will make sure I post in next time. And uh, all the links are in the description below, and we'll see you guys on the next podcast. Yeah.